everyone, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to Count's Manor. Alrighty, are we ready to get down and dirty inside the bug hole? Because I sure am. For those of you that don't remember from the last time, I was uh, right down here at the precipice. Not quite fighting so many enemies, but still, you know, besieged by creatures of all shape and size. I've got a lot of banners to deal with these guys now, and yet I never use them. I really ought to. Also, I'm starting to feel better now. The, the cold is going away, only ever so slightly. Not really that uh, quickly, unfortunately, so I still kind of sound like I've got corks up my nose. But we're getting better, you know what I mean? So, we're ready to get into this. We're ready to got get into this. So let's get to it. We got a couple of signs here we gotta read. It says, there's a dirty note on the cart. Warning, soft grounded ceiling from this point forward. Extreme care is being used when installing supports, otherwise the cave might collapse. And then on the other side, it says, a strange machine appears to operate the elevator. You notice how further down the entire color of the caves changes to similar to that of a desert. You can hear buzzing of antlions. Might be worth checking out. Yeah, I, I totally think that a rational person would have that same thought process of, yeah, let's go on down, take a look. It'll be fine. So I guess without any further ado, let's go down and neep into the bug hole and see what we can find down here. This is also an entirely new area. Let's see what we got going on in here. It looks interesting already. See how far down I can even really go. Oop, okay. As the buzzing of antlions grows louder, you know exactly where you are. These kind of areas are known to be quite dangerous to adventurers, but that matters not. Fossils and relics of the past await you in this insect-ridden place. What the Count plans to do with what he will find remain unknown to you, but regardless, this is archaeological dig site. That's kind of a little bit, uh, kind of anticlimactic, you know what I mean, compared to, uh, like the callous caves, or, or the callous mines, and the, uh, corrupt basement and all that. It's gonna be rough. This is gonna be a really rough time, I think. We're gonna try to take it slow here. We see what we got. We got a nice bed here going on. Some ancient civilization or another. The structures have fallen apart drastically, and they are barely worthwhile. We found almost nothing in them, so we're just going to let them regather sand. Okay, so this is a dig site. They were looking around for some things. Gonna move our way around. There is some shimmer up there. Kinda thinking maybe it might not be such a bad idea to go digging for shimmer, uh, the shimmer cloak. I think later on down the line. Platinum helmet. Don't I have, uh, part of the platinum set somewhere else? Tungsten? Tungsten? Nope, I don't. I do not, unfortunately. But it is better to keep the gold on until such a time that I do find them. I have a money trough, though, which I still don't know if I'm allowed to use. So, uh, it's fine. We're just gonna pretend that I was allowed the whole time. Move on. <laughs> anyway, so we have down here, we got some antlion swarmers. I will say I'm curious to know what everybody is thinking about the uh, duration of the videos. They've been a little bit on the longer side, which, you know, was intentional. I'm recording an awful lot and then putting up big ol' videos here. Still taking her slow, but you know, taking my time at the same time. But let me know what you think about them. I may, uh, it going forward, try to do perhaps sort of shorter videos. Maybe try to keep it uh, one zone per video. Depends on how long things are. If it's not too bad, I might just, uh, you know, cram it all into one, but you know, it's all good. Here we go. Uh, the golfer's here. Hi, how are you? I'm just. Lion Pines, we'll go ahead and let you do uh, your thing there, Tiger Woods reference, that's very funny. Just gonna ignore him, I'll let him live. Sandworm Spines, warning, they are still incredibly sharp. Be mindful when carrying them. That's the reason why some of them are attached to the ceiling. Also, a vast majority of them appear to still be in adolescent stages. Odd. Sandworm Spines? Oh, is that that? It's interesting. Ribs from what we determined to be from a young adult fire salamander. Those things still exist to this day. As such, we have no use for them. Mmm. Such as maybe perhaps a real salamander. Slam and dander. Ah, oh, storm spear. That's not a bad one. I like that. Platinum pantaloons. That's good. And uh, I could upgrade my, uh, what's it called there, but nah. Storm spear, though. Definitely a good one. It'd be even better if I did not worry about the old, uh, not have an auto-click, which is really unfortunate. I thought that the Terraria was gonna do that. Maybe I'm thinking of the mod. There is a mod that does it. Oh god, so many banana splits. And so much banana down here, it's delicious. Alright, fire there, we got stuff hanging from the schmealing. Alright, let's see here, bye. Kinda looks like a trap might be on the way. What's this? Part of the skull of some tusked animal. Data inconclusive as for what exactly they are. Addendum. As per the Count's orders, this fossil will not be studied further as the creature belongs to still lives on this world. Oh. Wonder what that could be. Big mysterious, I guess. Big ol' mysterious. 
Okay, so it looks like a whole bunch of nothing around here. A lot of empty open areas, it appears to be. Little shiny sparkles around the corners here. Not bad looking. Oh, what's this? A puzzle. Fascinating. We've tried many things. We've tried many things to try and unlock this door. Grammar, apparently, I haven't given that a shot yet, but to no avail. On top of that, as per the Count's orders, we are not to investigate this any further. Man, you, uh really do not want them down here. So whatever's in there poses a direct threat to the Count. Got it. Oh, that's cool. Does the lightning from this actually also uh, do the fire damage well? Interesting. I didn't know that. All right, cool. So what's this here? A horn of a young adult water wyvern. We've taken one of them already. As such, we have no need for this one as it is a much worse condition. Yeah, it's kind of a, a calcify. I don't really know what that's supposed to be. It's dirty. It's got dirt all over it. Dirt and mud, which is gross. It's grody. Ugh. All right, still chopping our way through these guys down here. Ain't no thing but a chicken wang. Can't go up over top of them unless I can hook onto that wall right there. Yeah, blah. It looks like I kind of want to be able to, but it won't let me. We'll just, we'll just go ahead and we'll get, we'll get through there. There we go. Yep. Ah, oh, and I fell down anyway. Oh my god, it was pointless to try. Okay. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, a wraith. Oh god, I have disturbed the ancient slumber. My apologies. Here, I'll come kill you back to sleep. Hush, little baby, don't you cry. You're just about to die. There you go. Took care of that for you. No harm done. Well, I mean, there was lots of harm done. I did an enormous amount of harm. But, uh, you know, it's fine because they're dead now. It doesn't matter anymore. Okay, moving on along. Whoopsie daisy. Nope. Yep, go ahead and jump off, would you? Thanks. Yep, yep, yep. You go right ahead. Get your get your head in. Get off. Get off the edge. Get off the edge. All right, moving on. And what have we here? Oh, God. Yeah. A spine from a massive death worm. Ah, potentially belongs to the species known as Adventurer's End. Ah, wow, that's corny. Confirmation of above sentence. This one appears to be a juvenile, of course. Adventurer's End. You've heard of these things. There is a town out in the Deathly Sand Valley that has tamed such creatures and uses them for transport. They have to release them into the wild when they grow too big. Hmm, of course they do. A bend to the town before the paladins and some teachers to learn how to fight such things. The name is quite apt. It is a daunting task, even with their guidance and the townsfolk who know everything. The name comes from the fact that many, many adventurers meet their end when facing one of these things, as they can appear out of nowhere and swallow them whole. Well, at least the areas are marked. That's good. You don't wander out into sandworm territory. These teeth seem to be from a T-Rex. Of course, we find that bastard here as well. If they weren't so big, you take them with you to show off to the kids training at the Order. But alas, that's not why you're here. I mean, why else would I be here other than to be a, a, like, a, like a murder hobo, just grabbing loot left, right, and center? That's like the only reason I'm here. Walky Tentacle, though, it's not bad. Doesn't, is this the one that, uh, yeah, embeds damaging spikes in enemies, so a little bit of damage over time with my damage over time? I kind of like that. It's not bad. Do the fire and also I could have the, uh, the poison, I guess, would be what that is, or bleed, I, I suppose. I don't know. Boy, sure, uh, it doesn't do a whole heckin' heck ton of knockback, I tell you what. What's this, the other way? Bottom jaw of something. Identified as belonging to an adult sea serpent. My god. A bunch of stuff down here. Oh, I didn't even notice this sign right here. What's this? Presence of the manor is greatly agitated. The antlion populace much more aggressive and have been attacking our research teams very often. Great precaution is advised. Okay. Well, the antlions were already unpleasant to be around, but sure, why not? Make it worse by building a corrupt manor. Why don't you send your, send your monsters down here to eat them all? Undead antlions aren't style. Zombie bugs? That's kind of terrifying, you know? Skull of a saw jaw. These creatures lived in the Jurassic period and use their jaws to chop down trees and use them for nesting. Is that it? Is that what that is? Okay. Oh, we have a little watery area here. Going through the watering hole. The old watering hole. Hello. Oh, that's, uh, that's even bigger than I thought it was. Oh, God. There's spikes in the water. There's spikes in the water. There is. I don't know why I keep doing that accent. I don't know why. Try to agitate the British. Because that's just fun. Oh god. Oxygen. I have nothing to uh to get oxygen from. No oxygen? Oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna get there fast enough. Why no oxygen? Why no gills? Why no gills? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die right there. Oh, it's a shame. I was so close. I was so close. My god, that's a uh that's a rough one. Maybe I can find a gills potion somewhere or make one? I don't know. I don't know if I have one or not. Is there anywhere else that I can really go? I mean, this looks like it's pretty much it. You just gotta be quick. I guess that's really the only way to do this. Just gotta be fast. I don't know, I don't really know how to do fast. Is it even possible for me to get through here? I mean, oh god, there was a chest there. No time. No time. No time. Get out of my way. Get out of my way.
Why are the ant lions able to breathe underwater, but I'm not? I'm gonna die again. I didn't even get anywhere near as close as I did last time. I'm just gonna assume that this is not possible right now, because I really have no idea how to get through this. I need something to make it so that I can breathe or swim a lot faster. So unfortunately right now it looks like there's no other, other like there's no other way for me to go down, you know what I mean? Like I'm gonna That's what was stuck, eh? I'll tell you what I will do though, is I'm definitely gonna go back and try to get that chest that I saw halfway. Because I know it's down here, I think, into the right, I believe. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to make it through this, but we can go ahead and try for the chest. Yeah, that right there. Ooh, space gun. Oh my. Yeah, there's no way to breathe. Like, I have no idea how one is to get through here. I have no clue. Like, there's no way. I could push through really hard, but, I mean, <laughs> that's not possible. Looks like my journey to the desert might be cut a little bit short, unfortunately. See, my issue is also that these things will not leave me alone long enough to fully regenerate. It will not let me. So, unfortunately, I can't get through. Nice ranged weapon, though, I gotta tell you. Getting the space gun's pretty good. We might have to go back to the shop and reforge that one. Maybe a trip back there wouldn't be a bad idea anyway. I've got a lot of junk to sell, and maybe I might be able to buy something to help myself here. Oh my god, see, this is what I'm talking about. I cannot heal. There's too many of them in the way. I gotta build a wall to block these guys off so I can even get in there. Not to mention the ones that are stuck inside that'll slow me down. Ah! Oh, I almost made it to the same spot again. I got held up by all the ant lions that are stuck in the tunnel. Yeah, maybe there's another way in that I can get to this place from, but right now it looks like I'm not going that way. I get pretty damn close, but I never quite get exactly there. Maybe it is possible, maybe it's not, but we're gonna go ahead and cut that adventure short because, uh, you know, I ain't doing that all day. All right, so let's head on back through here. Try to find the way back through. I think there was a, a, a pipe this way or something. It's kind of hard to keep track of it all. There's a lot of different ways to go. I'm gonna head back to the shop, see if there's something that I can do back there, maybe. Something that I can get myself or something that is obtainable or a potion, like I said. Something I can do. Keep myself from drowning down there. Oh God, how did I miss this? So down here is a little bit of a challenge room and Medusa's inside of it. <laughs> I, uh, was not aware that this was even a thing. I'm probably going to die. Thanks to, uh, Medusa being Medusa. Which, I think actually now she's a pretty hard mode enemy, isn't she? I think? Maybe I can actually take her down here, my god. Uh, okay, I was not expecting that. Uh, huh. I honestly walked right past this a thousand times. Cloud in a bottle. Ah. Well, boy gosh, college Willikers would that have not just been really nice to have a while ago. I don't know how I missed it, honestly. Honest to God, I keep running past all these places. And, uh, I, I forget that I have been here before. Have I even gone down here? Now that I'm looking at it, I think I did go in there, didn't I? Yeah, I grabbed the water chest. I just never went down to get that? How did I do that? I am really bad at this. Oops, we're going for a rail ride here. Whoopsie-daisy. It's not what I wanted to do at all. All right, let's see now. We're going to go around, and I am going to go and finish the corrupt basement. That is my plan here. If I can get out without dying. Honestly, them knocking me back when I'm trying to run through is probably worse than uh, them actively killing me. I am loving the space gun, though. Pretty handy. Honestly, it's, it's doing really good. Good penetration, good damage. I'm always a sucker for good penetration, if you know what I mean. <laughs> hey -oh. Yeah, that's right, ball man. That's, uh, I'll be here all week. Haha. <laughs> I will be. All week. Oops, we're out of mana. Now we go back to swinging. When I run out of mana, I go from penetrating to swinging balls. Pretty sure that there's definitely a teleportation room to get me back down there, too. Yeah, there is. Where am I going? Remember what you're playing, ball man. Jesus. All right, that's a lot better. We're back down in the corrupt basement again. Now we can move on back where we were before, which I think honestly was just right here. Um, I've got to make sure I set a reasonably close spawn point. Didn't I go through this uh, portal over here or something like that, I think? Also, I do remember this. I definitely do remember these little ropes right here being of significance from the last time. Don't remember why, but I think it's something you got to figure out later. Yeah, so what's this? Yeah, this takes me down here, which brings me relatively close to a bed. So we're gonna go this way, and I think this middle passage here actually will take me right back to where I started this whole episode at. Ha ha ha! Very nice. My god. I'm having a great time. Are you having a good time? I'm having a great time. I'm having a time like time could never be had before ever, or something like that, I don't know. Okay, here we go. That's it, here we go. Here we go. Alright, boy, I miss having wings. Oh my god. 
That's the only thing I liked about Core Keeper compared to Terraria is there was no verticality. I don't gotta jump over anything. I just run in a straight line everywhere I go. All right, so this is blocked off here, the way to the lower area here. You just keep going down deeper and deeper and deeper so you finally find your way in. Um, is there a way? I thought there was a significance with the uh, hangman thing there. Well, I guess I can go down around the other side, right? Yeah, I can still go down this way. Just can't uh, go down the middle yet. So what do you got here? Complete the room to unlock the seal to the boss room. Oh God, this looks awful. Yeah, I remember these. Definitely remember this. And having a, a hook is gonna trivialize this. Ow, I won't do that. Good Lord in heaven. All right, so that's the way out. I think up there is a switch we gotta get to. Good Lord. See, I say it's gonna trivialize it, but it might not, honestly. It might just be just as difficult without one. Ah, or with one, I mean. That's how you speak. Remember words anyway. There we go. Okay. Looks like maybe this way. And these are jungle spikes too, so they mean business. They are not little wimpy spikes. They're big boy spikes. Ow, God. See, and then they do big boy damage just like that. I think I remember there not being checkpoints to this before once upon a time. We're just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and do this. There we go. Okay, that better? <laughs> I like that better. Ow. Sorry, right, we can heal. It's all good. This looks awful. Really, really does. Genuinely. Oh, pardon. I don't think that was necessary. I, uh, I I like the safety feature added there, though. That was definitely before uh, a part of this. We're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna bite the bullet on that one and just take that spike. Oh god. Ugh. I didn't think that was gonna work. Uh! No, don't mind me. It's all good. I didn't know this would work. This is not something I expected to work. It kind of almost didn't. Here's a challenge. Try not to click the switch without smart... Uh, bleh, try to right-click the switch without smart cursor. You get coolness points if you do. Here, okay, I'll click it without using smart cursor. How cool was that? <laughs> do I win now? Did something open up? Do I win? Did I get them all? Okay, so the bottom is open. No, no, it isn't. What opened up? Something opened up. Was it the main thing? Can I go down and find out? Well, I did go down and I found out for sure. What's this down here? Is another rune. Take a look at that here on the way back. That's uh, the payback for being a being a smart ass, I guess. And I should be able to get up here fairly well. There we go. And we clicked it. Hooray! Savage katana in an arcane crystal. Permanent increased mana regen. Nice. Katana's good though. Oh, auto swing. Auto swing. And I guess I opened up the the boss arena. I suppose. That's right. I did open up the boss arena from that. I remember now because the other way is pain and agony. We're gonna find out if it still is. I'm curious. I bet it still is. Let's go on over and take a looky, Lou. We'll find out. Pretty sure I know what's to the left, and it is a, a trial that uh, is of suffering not seen in a generation. Down the bottom of this ramp is pain beyond pain. There's another rune. The hang took a secret to the grave. Find it, and the way to my room will partially open. Yeah, I did. Isn't this the one that has the thing in the middle? Or maybe it's got a hook there, or it's a, it's a switch or something that's invisible. Never mind what's going on down below me. We'll talk about that in a minute. There it is. Was that the only one? I think it might have been the only one. Yeah, so this down here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, folks of all shapes and sizes. This is the crab challenge. Get the crab to the end to win and get a prize. That'll spawn the crab. See, these paths are blocked right here. Flip the switch, it'll unlock the paths. Oh God. Why? 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 You see? You see? It's bad. Uh, I'll give it a try, I will. I will give it a try. That one there. Maybe they changed the way that the wiring worked. I don't know, this looks like it's okay. It's the, it's the dart traps that suck. That's the problem. I think I know what's in here, though. It's pretty handy. It is a really, really good accessory. I'm gonna give this, like, five tries, and then I'm done. Last time, I was at it forever, and it just didn't... it didn't work out. Oh, well, standing above the crab definitely stops it, at least. Thank God. At least till it gets down here, then it won't. Alright, now we go down here. I don't remember. I know that that triggers something. Yeah, it's gotta... not go backwards. Yeah, that's what you got. You gotta get that right there. Because I think that the path is still blocked. So when it goes over it, you gotta open it up and block it back off. Should be okay. And no, it got hit anyway. It was a lie. Oh god, now it's gonna run right back and die. Yep, that's all there was to it. 
Okay, sure, fine. Okay, halfway there. Crab keeps stopping. Crab does not want to go. Need to block this. Crab needs to go up. Crab gets hit. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Crab, 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 crab. Crab, turn around. Crab, turn around. Crab, where are you going? Stop your nonsense, you silly biscuit. Go across the bridge. It's not open. No, don't hit the switch yet. Oh, which one does it? I give up. I'm done. That's the end of it. All right, so there's absolutely nothing down that left passageway. Uh, it's uh, a work in progress area that uh, one day will uh, will work and not be a problem. Uh, but for the time being, we're going to skip it. We're going to carry on to the next uh, to the boss room here. OK, so moving on down this middle area here, you're going to find uh, lots of ebon stone as we go down. The traveling merchant has departed. Well, that's nice of him to stop by. Wasn't allowed to use anything from him anyway, but here we go. Now we're really down here in the depths. A boss room. Oh, and it's covered in spikes. Oh, good. This is the source of the corruption. It is the stuff of nightmares. The dark powers at work here are at intoxicating. But you know what must be done. The beast must fall. Summon and defeat the Eater of Worlds and then take the chromatic cloak and we can go back and explore all the shimmer stuff. And I'm betting this won't be a problem at all. Actually, uh, I'm going to use the uh, the slime staff for the penetration. I think that's a better one. Okay, so, all right, spuff up and get to it. Where is he? Here he comes from there, from the that side. And we'll just go ahead and stand right here, and we'll chop him up. Chop him up, chop him up, chop him up. There you go, and there we are. All right, we'll go ahead on through here. There we go, and we'll chop him. Yeah, we'll chop him. Should be okay. Should be all right. Shouldn't be a problem. We'll just chop him. Yeah, this is okay. Yeah, we're just getting we're getting some damage done, getting a little bit of everything into everybody. Yeah, this is good. This is working well. This is always an engaging boss fight. Uh, the Eater of Worlds uh, is definitely a challenge. It's a lot of difficulty here. It takes a lot of talent to really kill this boss effectively. Um, yeah, a lot went into this uh, planning-wise when Relogic made the boss. It's got a lot of history. Oh, is it over already? I didn't even notice. My mistake. Um, honestly, I couldn't even tell I was fighting a boss there. I thought I was just fighting like a like a dune splicer that wouldn't die. I don't know. Anyway, so uh, what did we get from him? We got the worm scarf, so damage reduction across the board, 100% valuable to me. I might swap out it and place big jumps, honestly. Tell you the truth, I like big hops, but uh, I like not, uh, not dying a lot more than that. We also have the chromatic cloak. So now I have the ability to access the shimmer and hold down while submerged in shimmer. I'm guessing I just have to sell this stuff, demonite ore and scales and all that. We'll just sell it. All right, so with that uh, done and over with there, um, is there anything else? All this arena for no reason. It's unfortunate. It's a nice looking arena. It really is. Lots of cool stuff in here. But, uh, you know, yeah. Yeah, that's it. God, it's rough not having the big jumps now anymore. I can definitely feel the difference. All right, let's go on back out of here, and then we are done with the corrupt basement. That's the end of that. Well, it's a good thing we're right here. We can get right back out, and there's some shimmer to go across right on the other side of this right here. So how's about that? All right, so what do we put it on here? Immunity to shimmer phasing, hold down to phase while in the shimmer. So let's go back through, and we're going to start going through all these little shimmer walls here then. Okay, we got a whole bunch of lore right here once again. Second verse, same as the first. Soul book on the table piqued your interest. Doesn't look like your average book. See through in blue. What sorcery is this? Absolution by Fitzgerald Crimboro Marianus. We've heard about Mr. Marinara sauce there a couple of times now. After the day of the great revelation, the gods were in my home. I think these days they just call that schizophrenia. But anyway, they appeared to be quite impressed by my scientific breakthroughs. All the evidence necessary to prove that Jesus Christ was real to the world. Okay, that's different. Well, indeed, I have achieved many a great thing, such as the creation of top of the line cybernetics, androids and robots that work faster than humans and so on. They noticed I felt limited. Asked me a question that eternally reverberates within the depths of my mind. Do you wish for us to help you reach far beyond what you initially thought was possible? A resounding yes. Interesting. Research backed by deities. Knowledge is insurmountable. They help me understand that what I once thought to be impossible, such as teleportation, regeneration of lost limbs, and so much more, was quite within reach. Go drunk with power, remain steadfast. Interesting. Didn't rely on miracles to reach his goals. Well, good for you. Said with but one condition, they would give me the bare minimum help necessary. No scientist worth their marbles will settle for it works, but how? I do not know. Indeed, okay. A journey to learn everything possible that the universe began. 
about reality, understand how everything works, how to use that knowledge to make the lives of everyone around me much better, prevent the need for deities to descend from the heavens like they've done during the Great Revelation, needed others to help me achieve my dreams, whether they were in it for the money or fame or for the sake of being a good person, I didn't care. Absolution was born! A company whose sole goal was to learn about everything around us. Interesting. Learning Infinity One gets the closer to whom created them, thus the name. Our goal is to reach Absolution, the peak of knowledge, peak of understanding, and use that understanding to help others reach the peak, and help those who could only be saved by a miracle. Interesting. Absolution, great revelation, many questions plague your mind, but answer may never reach you. I think I can live with that. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So what's in here? The meatball. Oh yeah, I love meatballs. And we have uh, another mana crystal and we're already maxed out, so we're good to go. So do I want uh, the ball of hurt or uh, the meatball? Honestly, I think I'll take uh, the meatball. All right, there's a bed in there. You can uh, sleep in that. All right, let's go ahead and uh, shimmer down through that. And now, uh, where else did I got to go? I mean, there's a lot of shimmer. There's another one down here and another one over there. Maybe we ought to go back to the very... Oh, a lot of slime. Hello. Maybe we ought to go back to the very beginning. I'm going to go all the way back there, and I'm going to see if maybe we can get all of them. All right, so our first shimmer ever was right here. I'm gonna go ahead and go through here, right outside the uh, flesh pit entrance. What do we have here? Hit the switch for information. The book floating above this table seems to resonate to you, so much so that it begins speaking. Hello, paladin. Surprised to see a talking book, eh? I wasn't a oh, we're gonna do this now. I wasn't always a talking book. The count fella gave me sentience and everything, and stuffed me in this wee room, because I'll be talking too much, he said. Yeah, I bet you have, Ben. I remember you, you chatty book. At least I got some company now, though. Now you're probably wondering if I have any of that secret knowledge since I'm a book. I'm just gonna wait for it to stop doing that. Anyway, secret knowledge since I'm a book and all, well, jolly ye, I bloody well do. And it's the saucy kind as well. Maybe a secret fiend from another world in some frozen cavern place the count sealed off since he wouldn't respond to any commands, and because the bloody thing kept on spawning these weirdo ends everywhere. So this is the secret to get into that little ice room that uh, you saw over there to the right, right outside that barrier. Said you need the power of the wolf to get through. That's what's telling me how to do. To get through, you'll be needing some better gear. There's some climbing stuff in the chest next to you. You're gonna need them. Trust me to open up Deerclops' cavern. That's what the thing is called, by the way. Gotta scale up the manor wall and enter a tower through a crack, because this eight-eyed freak really can't upkeep his damn house. Be careful, the harpies. And the thing you be looking for should be there. That's all I got, pal. Oh wait, almost forgot. There's more folk like me around the manor. Tell them Winston Williams said hello. All right, mate. Sure thing. Oh no, it's gonna do that again. Okay, let's grab all this stuff then. Tiger climbing gear. Uh, kind of irrelevant now, I think, but uh, cool. Huh? Galaxy Pearl increases luck. Cool. Potion of return. Ah. And nachos. Nice. We like nachos. All right, so let's head back out here then. And the next one is up a ways. We can get into the Grand Library there, but I'm going to scale the outside first. I don't plan on fighting Deer Clops yet, though. That's a bit of a an ouchy daisy's waiting to happen, I gotta tell you. Actually, before I go too far out, I should go back down into that mine, shouldn't I? Grab that uh, other thing behind the shimmer wall there as well. All right, here we go. Let's go on through by the big shimmer hole. See what we got inside of here. Kind of sound like I wanted to change the music there. Maybe we're getting a little closer to a new biome, maybe? Okay, we got a rusty area here. Bunch of this. A note is here. As per your request, we installed a lever here to open up the vents on this floor, and the slave camp vent as well. That should help with the smoke problem. Slave camp. We got ale. And sake. Okay. Open up the vents to the slave camp. Oh, that. All right. Where on earth does that go? Then another part of this uh, little area down here, I guess. Okay, well, what's in here, I guess? Then we're gonna take a looky loo. We're gonna take a little looksy daisy. See what's hiding inside. I'll look even more fabulous. A unicorn wearing a, a rainbow cape. Beautiful. All right, let's see what we got down inside of here. Oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, I remember seeing this here. This is the slave camp, huh? Stop right there, whoever you are. A man with an eye patch pulls a pickaxe on you in a threatening manner before pulling it down. Oh, new blood, I supp- Wait a minute, you're armed? He says with a very shocked expression. You show him your emblem to reveal who you are. A paladin of the Crystalline Rose Order here? He takes a moment before continuing. So why are you here? To save us? To slay the Count? You tell him you were sent to slay the Count because of his never-ending attacks on Kilmaid. He's attacking the kingdom? But why? Counts of Darkness don't do that. There must be something at play here. Something diabolic, I'm sure of it. But until then, feel free to use our camp to rest. Monsters don't usually come here. Except for the flying flesh monsters from that damn flesh pit. 
Okay. We got a guy with an eye patch. We got a goblin looking thing here. And uh, whatever that is, a dog person. Meet Gronk. Gronk Betty's powered in bed if need sleep. Tiny strong can kill monster. I'm not Gronk. Gronk's scared. Oh, it's okay, Gronk. We, uh, we'll take care of that for you. All right, so anything else hiding down here? Said something about something from the flesh pit? Oh, would you look at that? Another area. Warning difficult area ahead. Proceed with caution. Don't go that way, the eye patch man says. That's towards the flesh pit. We've never been there. And we never plan to go there. Just looking at those disgusting tendrils blocking the way is enough to scare the pants off us. You mentioned how you had to go through the flesh pit to reach the manor. No. You know, you don't understand. That place is nightmarish. There's nothing for you there. Leave it be for your sanity. As my gravestone is right here inside the door. Hey, man, by the way, uh, I are, I've already been through here, so... <laughs> I don't even worry about it. All right, so let's, uh, we'll just go ahead and tch, go do the shimmer over here, I guess, then. We'll take care of that. Oh, God. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, the lava thing ain't lava-ing. Huh. I guess that's a blessing in disguise, then. Hey, I'll take it. Maybe there's a switch that needed to be flipped at the beginning of the, uh, the area here. Maybe it shut off because of some other reason. I don't know, but either way, it shut off. That's all that matters. So, let's see what we got here. Nothing really all that fancy, though. Everything's good to go. Oh, all the way up here, I don't think I was able to get to, was I? We got a secret. Okay. The squished eyeball stares at you. Crover was his name. He was father, father of I, father of many. Crover's beast, you call it. I am no beast, I am I. Yet you call I Crover's beast. Crover's beast of lung, beast of mind, beast of heart. Crover's beast of stomach, stomach here. Before you, stomach is I, you are I. It takes a long pause. You're getting ready to leave, but then you hear it say in a rather childish voice, Daddy is you? You scurry out of fear. Well, that's disgusting, but that explains what the lava is. It's stomach acid. Ugh. Okay. So, uh, the Count made a flesh monster. Good for him. Um, let's go ahead and through here, I suppose. What is that? Shimmer slime. Well, I can't do anything to that from here, but we're gonna get through this side. Ah! So I guess from that point on, it's assuming that I have already defeated the Eater of Worlds. So I'm assuming it's not gonna be easy on me on this side. Alright, so let's take a look and see what we got right here. It looks like a, uh... Eyeball flower? Is this some kind of sick joke? This is not a flower. You refuse to believe it is a flower. No man on this planet would call this a flower. This is wrong. This hellhole does not know what a real flower is. A flower is beautiful. It is a symbol of love, of happiness, but not this. This is an abomination. This doesn't deserve to exist. This should just burn to ash and have that ash thrown into the ocean to forever be forgotten. That's kind of dramatic, don't you think? My god. That's, uh, that's rough. I really, really don't like this. Is that my inner monologue? Interesting. This looks like a place to get stuck at. I'm looking for a blue fireball already. I keep hearing clicks. There's def- Oh, there's things spawning up here. Oh, there's more flowers. Oh god, flowers and eye stalks. Eye stalks? More like you stalks. I don't really see anything else up here. Like, what else is there supposed to be that I'm supposed to get a hold of? Really, anything? We're gonna go down to the hole. We're gonna do some murder. Oh yeah, this is good right here. Oh, lots of murder. Lots and lots of murder. All right, here we go. Up we go. We're gonna go up to the the top path, the top the topmost path. See if there's anything really of significance up here. Going back out, it looks like I found connective tissue between here and out there. Interesting. Um, has this always been open? Oh no, there's definitely got to be a switch. Oh yeah, there is. Okay, we're good. We found another way in. So this takes me back into here. The main area of the uh, the upper mystery flesh pit. All I can think of whenever I see this place, and I think it's why I like it so much, is the uh, what is it that flesh pit national park? I don't remember if that ever became an SCP, but I remember reading a lot about it, and I was really into the lore of that. I don't know if this is any kind of a giant reference to that or not, but uh, I like it a lot. But this this whole area here, so far out of everything, this is definitely still my favorite by far. Everything that was added onto this since the last time I played it, 100%, just fantastic. I love it. Oh god. Oh wow. What is this? Oh god. It vaguely resembles lungs. Fire creates smoke. Smoke is horrible for the lungs. And a just torture for this monstrosity. Some kind of pore is exposed. Dropping a torch into it should harm the beast, and maybe, just maybe, the recoil could open a way forward? It won't recoil for long, so I would need something that would make me incredibly fast like a wolf. Ah. What was that? Oh, that's freaky. It, it does it play a sound bite when you flip the switch? That's kind of freaky. So then, do I need that? Then I need to have the uh, the wolf thing in order to get through. Oh, I see. Okay, I got it now. 
All right, you got to go through all the way to the other side over there, and then you can finally get through. So this is the lungs, huh? Okay, well, I guess we're at the uh, end of this again. My god. Lots and lots and lots of backtracking. It really is. Is there anywhere else that I can look at? I can go down south. There's an area down here I can take a look at. Maybe some more things. Ambush! 30 seconds to defeat all enemies of this wave! Oh god. Okay, well, that shouldn't be too bad. We can uh, go ahead and chop through these guys here. I see another one of me up there, it looks like. Okay, everything's dead. What now? Oh god, okay, here we go. Oh, it's uh, it's one of these! Oh, okay. Um, wasn't there something like this before? It's like a little, uh, arena. There is something else like this in this map. I didn't know they added another one, that's really cool. I think I definitely outgear it, though, unfortunately. I could probably lower the time down a little bit, too. I don't think these guys are too bad. So I guess if you were really just starting out, yeah, it might not be so great. But I need the Shimmer to get through, so I'm expected to have everything through here up to this point, right? If I die, am I stuck outside, by the way? I'm curious to know. How many of these are there? My god. Got an awful lot of, uh... Oh, wait, never mind. The nightmare recedes. Oh, okay. I win. Alright, let's go up here. See what there is to see. Alright. Got another one of me. Which means there's a place to get stuck at up here. And a bed. There is a flesh pit bed. Well, the secret must be up here, right? I'm expecting it to be here. Because I'm stuck, right? Oh. Oh, there's one. Gets me back out of here. I guess that's it then. Okay, great. Was that it though? I mean, that doesn't really seem like... Well, maybe I wasn't supposed to go all the way in. I went all the way in up there, man. I was all the way up in there. Okay, so we have the tongue bed up there now. We have our spawn set here. Let's keep on going down. Well, it would be nice if one of these slimes would spawn down here and it would have uh kills potion in it. That'd be all right. Wouldn't be mad about that one bit. I wish I knew what made those. I would definitely farm them. Oh god, okay. That's enough of that. Eyeballs and dribblers and the disco water we got going on down here. It's flashing blue and red. Okay, so this looks like another water puzzle. Maybe I need that power of the wolf in order to get through. Oh, what's this up here? Oh god, okay. Range projectiles gain speed and move upwards and shimmer. Man person, P.S. I'll give you a wooden bow because there are no non-consumable range weapons in this map. Oh, okay. So I need the bow to do this. What if it takes me 9,931 tries? That just mean I'm bad at the game? <laughs> I can definitely get through that, okay. Uh, that's another thing to, to work on there. Pretty close. Pretty close. Pretty close. Pretty close. Oh! Oh, so close. And we got it. And we got it. And we got it. Does it want me to use all three? Because, I mean, I'm basically hitting... Uh, it's right there. I mean, it, it looks like it's hitting it to me. You know what I mean? See, I made the joke about it taking me that many tries. What if it does? You know what I mean? Dude, it looks like it's hitting it right there. It really does. It looks like it's just getting it. Is it that thing on the wall I'm aiming for? I don't get it. I really don't. I got it, though. We'll take care of this here. What happens if I do this? But you weren't expecting anybody to do that, were you? How's about that? Is that a, is that a bug? Is that bug right there? Is that what that was? Is that a bug? Did I do? Did I find something I wasn't supposed to? Because uh, oopsie daisy. We're just gonna keep going with it. Honestly, why not? Right? Just keep it moving. Keep the whole thing moving. Keep it moving. Keep it rolling. I do so love these water challenges. I really do so very much. What am I finding down here, by the way? What's what's down here? What am I looking for? Am I just going the wrong way? Just objectively the wrong way. Okay, well, I found something. Uh, yo-yo glove. Okay, cool. Um, did I win? <laughs> I don't really know what I did here. What have I done? Did I break it? All I need to know is whether or not I broke it, that's all. Because if I did, then hooray, because that's what I aim for. My goal is to break your map. That's what I would like to do. Okay, what do we have here? Another sign. Oh god, a wraith. Wraith! Wraith! Why are there wraiths? Why are there so many? Was this something you wanted? I'm getting out of here. Oh my god. Oh, I'm not ready. I need out of the water. Let me out of here. Oh god. Okay. What is this? What am I doing? Why does it keep going? How long is this going on for? My god. I didn't even get a chance to read that sign because everything keeps spawning. Okay, you've heard stories of strange fish appearing in these kinds of fleshy areas, but can you truly fish in peace while all of these... Ah! monstrosities that you can barely even call eyes stare at you. Um, I mean, where there's a will, there's a way, 100%. Oh, why are we double spotting? 
Why is everything double spawning? I just gotta push through it. You just gotta push through. You don't gotta kill him, you just gotta outrun him. That's all you gotta do. There's bed up here. Okay. There's a respawn area. This is getting tense. This area is so much harder. Here I was thinking I was about done. It really went all out with this place. All right, what do we got going on up here? It's kind of hard to uh, keep track of where I've gone and where I've been. There's so many rooms. There we go. Break through this here. All right, what do we got? What do we got? The mutilated eye stares at you. You know daddy? Daddy, Crover, Crover, good man. Made eye, made flesh, flesh, many eye, eye, but one? I but one, you, I, I, you, one, you, I, I, am, you, you, are, I, in, flesh, you. Daddy, you, Crover, Daddy, Crover. You put your hands around your ears and stop listening before you lose your mind. It begins crying. The tears are made of blood. That's metal, dude. It really is metal. I like it. All right, over there looks like the other side of that lung area, so we're not quite needing to go that way. Let's take a look and see what we got down here. So this is a fishing area then, huh? It looks like this is a... This is a massive vein. Or too massive. This might be the hardest parkour room in the map currently. Be warned, it uses every movement item used to progress to the map. These types of room are known as gauntlets. If you succeed, you'll be rewarded, rewarded with very strong loot. Yeah, there ain't no way. With that, with the water problem here? The water problem. That's the thing. It's the water problem. The whole not breathing thing? We go. We just go. We go, 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 go. We go. We go. We will try it. We will try. We will not succeed, but we will try. Okay, I got a switch. At part two? Next part there. Okay. At the next part? All right, we're gonna die from, from the death first. Okay. But I almost got through that part. All right, we're gonna go back and we're gonna keep trying. We're gonna go back and keep trying and dying. That's all that matters to me. Oh, there were 15 gold. Oh, we're definitely going back for that. 100%. Leave it to me to always forget that I'm carrying ridiculous amounts of gold. But always happens. It's how it is. It do be how it do be, you know? I'm probably not even gonna get it back now, honestly. Because I gotta keep hitting these spikes. I'm never gonna get that gold back. I gotta get it. Da -da 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 -da. All right. Now quick. Quick, 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 quick. Where is it? Quick stack. I win. Aha! I kept the gold. Hey, we made it through to the first room. These eyes, they're almost correct. Too close to correct. It's still wrong. There's something wrong. There's too many almost correct eyes here. Why are they so close to correct? Why are they so big? Why are they staring almost innocently? Why do they look almost humane? A nerve might make it recoil in pain if I hit it hard enough and open a way to stop the acidic blood from flowing. Interesting. What's up this way? Anything? Nothing? Just a bunch of blue eyes? Okay. So I hit it hard enough, now what do I do? Do I- do I- it did it win? Oh no, it just does the thing. Okay. I feel like I'm not supposed to have this hook. The more that I play this, the more I think I should not have this hook. Okay, that did open? Did that open something? Did it do anything? Okay, it stopped. All right, we're good. We can go through there. Get through here. All right. Now, do I have to do this all in like one go? Is that the thing? Is it going to stop or am I stuck here? I may be. I don't know if it's going to stop. I don't think it is. I think we're just stuck. All right. So be it. All right, well, we made it through to the other side. Um, I don't know what happened here. I'm just kind of, I'm stuck. I, I don't really know what to do. Uh, it didn't open. Is it not supposed to do that otherwise? Like, do I have to absolutely get it fast enough for that switch? So that might be the roadblock there. Because I don't see where the other way out would be. I'm gonna die anyway, but I don't see it. I don't know. Maybe that, that's just gotta come back next time and maybe I'll have all of the stuff that I need and I'll be able to get past it. All right, well, with all that said and done, um, I think for now I'm going to call it here. This is uh, definitely a very fun area. I was not expecting the flesh pit to have quite so much in it, but uh, I don't mind at all. Not one bit. This is fun. This is really, really enjoyable. There's a hell of an area down here. Oh my god, I will never get out of here. I am going- I got in, I'll never get back out again. This particular area here is just awful. It really is. A wraith banner would be fantastic. Am I even going to be able to get back out of here? I don't even know if I'm going to be able to. I think I got stuck. I think shimmering down through that trap there got me stuck. I don't think I can get out. Maybe there is a way up around there? I have no idea, honestly. It might be better to just undo my spawn point and die. Go back the hard way. Oh god. Okay, I think I did get myself stuck here. <laughs> yep, I think that shimmering myself down here got me stuck. Because it's not letting me back out. Oh god. I broke it. 
I have definitely broke it. Oh, not good, not good. Because I cannot go this way. And it looks like that is the way that I had to go. <laughs> I skipped half the puzzle by falling through the shimmer that I shouldn't have been able to get into anyway. Okay, well, uh, we know what happens here. Peacefully die, and then we'll undo our spawn, and I will see if I respawn anywhere reasonable. All right, we'll just set our spawn here because it's here, and uh, we will carry on the next time we are here because, boy oh boy, that area definitely got a lot more challenging. Dude down there in the slave camp wasn't kidding when he said we don't go that way. It's crazy over there. Drive you mad. And uh, it sure did. So we're going to have to do lots and lots of backtracking. Lots and lots of exploring. We're going to go back down. We're going to continue to explore all the stuff locked behind the shimmer. This map has gotten so massively overhauled. There is just so, so much to do. Every time I get to a point where I think, okay, we got to be like halfway, right? At least. Just opens up a whole new world of things to explore. Might take as long to beat pre-hard mode in actual Terraria as it does to beat this iteration of the Count's Manor. There's so much. We'll find out later on down the line here. But so far, I've been really enjoying it. And if you have been too, make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to see more like this and beyond. And check out the map and definitely go and play it a little bit because I think you're going to really enjoy it. Unless you're not a fan of fun. If you don't like fun, then I guess you'll probably hate it. And honestly, I probably wouldn't want you around anyway. But if you are a fan of good times and pain, check it out. But anyways, like I said, we're going to call it an episode here with all this said and done. So thank you so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it. And as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, hope you have a good one of those. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.